It's another one. I got that juice, juice. New AP. She got that juice, juice, juice. She got that squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. She got that wet, wet, wet. I'm on them skis. I got it. Hey guys, I know this quality is looking really crazy because I recorded this on my camera. My file is corrupt. I tried to record my screen and then insert it in and the, the sound is still not showing up. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I did this makeup in two parts. Today, I will be showing you guys my winter foundation routine. Friday, you will see this green smoky eye and lip combo. I hope you guys still enjoy this video and I will catch y'all in my next one. Doing my makeup after I exfoliate is to moisturize my face. So I'm gonna be using my old Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. And I either use this with a Nivea cream or I use them both together depending on how my skin is feeling that day. So next I'm going to prime my face and I like to moisturize and prime before I do like my um, eyebrows and eyeshadow and everything like that so everything can sink into my skin. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and I use like two and a half pumps of this. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow that will be in another video and then I'll be back to show you guys how I So what I like to do now, I'm going to spray my face with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Go ahead and color correct my dark spots and it's Beyond Perfect in 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is how I just use this Real Techniques brush and it has the number 200 on it. Okay, so to blend out my foundation, I either use this Real Techniques Huge Body Blender. Or I use my Fenty Beauty Sponge, but it's super dirty right now. And I like this a little bit better because I can get it done quicker. I mean, this is $7.99 at Ulta. Favorite foundation for now, and it has been for a while. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 5W1 Bronze. I mean, if you have dry skin like I do, I pretty much do not use a brush to blend in my foundation because sometimes I can't have dry patches and brushes tend to cling to them or like pick them up. Even though I do exfoliate, I just don't particularly care for brushes. Okay, so now that I have my foundation blended out, the next thing that I like to do is to contour. Nine times out of ten, I use my Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick in the shade Hazelnut. And then I take this Real Techniques Buffing Brush and blend it out. And always blend your contour upwards, never downwards. And I know this probably looks super super warm but I like like to give myself a bronzy look and once I highlight my face everything will balance out. Okay so for concealer I'm gonna use one of my favorite combos my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer Tan Sand Ginger. And I don't like to take my concealer all the way back to my hairline because it tends to make my face look a little bit wider. So I just kind of keep it by my eyebrow area. And I like to take my concealer up on my nose to give it like a natural contour. So I'm gonna take the side of this. And
Okay, y'all, so I'm switching over to voiceover because my kids were so loud during this part. So, yeah, I'm setting my contour with my MAC uh, press powder in NW50, and then I'm going to go over that with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. So now I'm just taking that MAC Mineralize Skin Finish with my favorite Morphe M524 brush for my nose contour. I did not cream contour this day, but sometimes I do with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Beautiful Bronze. Now I'm taking my Real Techniques Powder Brush with my favorite Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder. It just gives my face an airbrush look like y'all look at that. I love it so much and it's only $5. And now I'm going to take this e.l.f. blush quad, that sh color I'm showing you guys right there, and I'm going to use um, a Real Techniques brush to apply this. I believe it's their contour brush. This is this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Thank you Urban Decay for sending me this product to try out and review. Are amazing things about this spray. A lot of people use it. It is oil free and paraben free. It has temperature control technology. So I'm super excited to try this out. So I hope your makeup stays flawless for like 16 hours. My favorite color, you already know my favorite color is purple. And it has purple writing all over it. So I'm gonna just shake this up a little bit. And it has double tops, I'm not sure why, but double tops is good for people like me because I'm always using tops and stuff. So I'm gonna just spray my face with this. This smells like my Scandinavia spray. You know, I love that. Dry down a little bit and then apply my highlight. The first highlighter I'm going to go in with is my Laura Geller Good Honey, and I cannot show you guys because it's all broken up. I feel like adding something a little extra to this look, so I'm gonna go in with my Fancy Beauty Trophy Wife. Okay, so y'all know I'm going to spray my face one more time with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I got the beat.